Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. TODR of what I'm about to get into, uh, watch the previous YouTube short I uploaded about this. And um, as far as the uh, longer formatted version of that short, uh, it would be in a lot of content creators and especially VTubers' best interest to stop acting so fucking entitled all the time. <laughs> like, I've, I've been seeing it happen a lot. And the type of entitlement I'm specifically referring to is the kind where VTubers and not just VTubers, but smaller content creators in general, um, they have this weird, undeserved sense of entitlement that if you're not really keen to it, kind of like dictates all of their content because they make things and they do things in a way where it's like, give me views, give me this, give me that. Uh, you know, I do all this work and I don't get like my, uh, I don't, I don't get my crowns. I don't get what I'm owed. I don't get X, Y, Z. And shit don't work like that, buddy. Like if people want to support you because they like what the hell you do, then they'll do it of their own accord. That doesn't mean start fucking whining and crying and making like light year long Twitter threads about how you do all these things and no one hears you out or no one gives you the time of day or you feel like you deserve this, you deserve that for this, for all this work that you put into it. And when people are like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do things like that, then you get all pissed off for it. But it's like, they're right. What do you get off on acting like you're old the planet just because you do a couple things that someone doesn't else someone else doesn't necessarily do the exact same way uh what do you get off on acting like this when it's not deserved because when people tell you that hey maybe you shouldn't be acting so like entitled over the things that you do you get pissed off for it and the people that get pissed off you're just proving them right just the same way how in a TikTok that i made that I also, I believe I uploaded as a YouTube short, where I was talking about how um, when uh, Maury Calliope made that song that pissed off so many people uh, a few years ago, because, you know, surprise, she was right about uh, stop tweeting, quit bitching all the time, and go make some sauce. Go make some real fucking content instead of tweeting all day, because tweeting is not content unless it is under the guise of hey reply to this uh tweet and uh, thread or whatever and i'll upload my responses as a youtube video or give me your funniest thing and i'll react to it only then are tweets considered content if you're just sitting around tweeting all fucking day that's not content stop it in my genuine honest opinion that is not content that will never be content. Stop calling it content. Because you can sit around and tweet all damn day and get nothing from it. Because Twitter followers don't mean shit. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter followers means nothing at the end of the day. But that's getting kind of sort of off topic. A lot of content creators who get all off into their own head who get off way too deep into their own egos about what they do. Now, don't misunderstand me. Do not misunderstand me in the slightest, right? I'm all about being in your bag. I'm all about, um, you know, keeping the right headspace and thinking that, you know, you're the shit. But when it gets to a detrimental delusional level, um, 
Maybe you don't, because you're going to do nothing but sully your own content. And then people are going to notice um, how entitled you're acting, whether it's a subconscious thing or not. Because what I've noticed a lot of the time is that I'll be watching someone and it'll be the way that they comment on something or they carry themselves on stream where they're like, oh, not, well, not there, but where I'm like, that's like really fucking entitled. Like the people complaining about view counts, like pulling a DSP and being like, views this, views that, blah, 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 fuckity, blah, 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 right? It's that kind of shit that I see a lot and I notice a lot. But when you point that out to people, they're like, no, what are you talking about? You're this, you're that. It's like, you're, you're vehemently denying me because I know what I'm talking about. Yes. All right, but yeah, will you like call them out on it or not even like call them out? You just kind of sort of pull them to the side and be like, hey, you know, I've been noticing this, that, and the third. They want to get all pissy and angry and stuff like that. And again, you're just proving their and many other people's points. Running your content and conducting yourself under the guise of you are owed this, you are owed that. That's not conducive to anyone, especially yourself, because the more you think you're hiding it, the easier it is for people to be like, oh, so that's how you really feel type shit, right? I, I see it all the time. People trip out about like, oh, well, you know, my chat is just lurkers. I don't have people who actually chat in stream or like, um, shit. I don't have people who, uh, I don't, I don't have like subs and stuff. I don't, I, I'm not forming a community. I don't have, uh, people donating all the time. I can't do subathons and it's like, okay, but what you bitching for? Like the people you have, they might, they may not be supporting you in the way that you want them to, but you're still getting supported at the end of the fucking day. Right? Like. It's people out there who don't have, who don't even have fucking workers, who their stream is nothing but fucking bots and shit. There are people who don't have <laughs> chatters at all, right? There are people who, who like legitimately stream to fucking zero people. There are people who stream to literally fucking nobody there are people who don't have even a fraction of what you're complaining about but you're talking about your shit in a way that you're ungrateful as fuck you are demanding that people interact with you what if someone just wants to fucking relaxed and just watch someone in silence or watch someone while they're fucking snacking or something what if they don't want to do all the typical uh twitch viewer stuff right they don't have to do all that but here you are the content creator bitching about it because you don't have what someone else has big fucking deal the longer you work towards actually getting some shit done the right way the closer you'll get to actually getting what you're bitching about. All right? There, there, there are people who've been streaming for, like, ages. And they're just now seeing, like, actual growth. And they haven't bitched not one time in the same way that the Entitled people bitch. Like, a lot of people, when it comes to, like, criticizing themselves, they're like, okay, you know, yeah, I could have improved on this, could have improved on that. And whatnot. But they're not acting like, oh, well, it's XYZ's fault that this isn't happening and that isn't happening. No, cut that shit out. Stop it. Entitlement is a very, very bad trend to partake in as a content creator, VTuber or not. But I will say that VTubers, a lot of smaller end VTubers, are the worst 
fucking components of the whole I'm gonna be entitled because I'm not getting this and that type of content creators and when they get people talking about that they're all like oh well you know that's not it, it they, they make every excuse on the planet instead of acting yeah not acting but actually being about what the fuck they're trying to do allowing an overpowering sense of entitlement is not the way to conduct yourself not even just as a content creator but like as any semblance of a public figure period right that, that's just not the move not the move in the slightest but yet the people that slide into this field thinking that they can just act and do whatever the fuck they please and have that be how they run their shit no because you're gonna get snuffed out and you're gonna get snuffed out real quick because it is very easy to tell when someone is really about their shit or not a lot of people tell me i'm wrong in that sense and that i don't know what i'm talking about but i've been researching and watching um various forms of content creator streamers for a long time and it is very very easy to sniff that shit out why listen to the guy who knows what the hell he's talking about right people would rather rather not and live in annoying ignorance than have a fucking clue these days but anyway like i said tldr watch the previous youtube short i uploaded about this because no matter what right if you're not doing something someone else is and they're doing it way better than you are attitude wise no one wants to watch someone who just sits around and whines all day about what they don't have because of xyz factors that's 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 literally just acting like dark side phil when it comes to a lot of this stuff and i very frequently say if you want to be a content creator you should watch dark side phil so that way you know how not to conduct yourself like period the only positive which is also technically a negative is that he is the pinnacle of how to not be an internet figure because every single conceivable thing about that guy is bad the, there there is not a single a wholly positive thing about that creature of a content creator and he has a he has a legacy that is universally bad but is the perfect example of how not to be a content creator because dsp is also the like pinnacle of entitlement when it comes to what he does and how he conducts himself that guy is the actual perfect example of that shit not to say that i've seen any vtubers thank god get anywhere well get close to the levels of dsp i haven't seen anyone take it so far to where they're like attacking um the general uh viewer base for them not having views or attention or, or whatnot. I haven't seen that yet, and I hope I never see it, but that, that's just one of the many things that a lot of small motherfuckers do with that shit. Because the more you bitch, whine, and moan, the less people are gonna actually want to watch you and engage with you, because for some people, it, it would feel like they're doing it out of pity. If you're gonna watch and support someone, it shouldn't be out of fucking pity. It should be out of like, yeah, th th this person's pretty cool, and whatever. Not just oh, they're 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 a chronic crier. Let me let me like have them shut up or something. The the funny thing about it is that what I've noticed is that 
there's a lot of people that get into this field who have never been told no and have been surrounded by yes people pretty much their entire fucking life. And it's a matter of like being annoyingly spoiled about it and because they were always given the world they think that they are owed the world and that's not how that works not in the slightest you can't you can't or rather you shouldn't build a following and a career off of being seen as the entitled one the one who's always whining and crying and complaining about the numbers which is another thing too people don't know how to process numbers in a positive way whenever you finish a stream you get your um your stream summary thing and it says like oh chatters this average viewer that concurrent this blah blah blah, blah where your traffic came from um and stuff like that and people see people see something like oh you had a uh, two average or you had like insert some number that's not really big here in comparison to whatever else before that and um people would be like oh well you know this stream was horrible i'm falling off yada 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 or like like they'll get big numbers and then the big numbers will just go to their fucking heads when that happens it's like okay well why don't i always have the big number why, why are my numbers going down? They shouldn't be going down. They should always be going up. And again, no. That's not how that works. And I'm I'm talking about the thing I'm talking about right now because I see it a lot on social media, on, well, especially fucking streamer content creator Twitter. Um, I've seen it in Reddits. I've seen it in Discord servers. And I would try to have these the, the same conversation with people that I'm having right now, and they just would refuse to listen because it's not exactly what they want to hear because they're so tangled up by entitlement brain to where they don't want to hear the truth of the situation. They don't want to hear the reality of the situation. They just want to believe that I am owed these things because I do the thing.